Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make an emulsified and exfoliating foaming bath whip. Now I've been hearing from you on my different social media platforms that you all wanted to see a foaming bath whip body butter type recipe. So I've been experimenting with a lot of different ingredients and I think I've come up with a perfect formulation. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you the tutorial on how to make an emulsified and exfoliating scrub with a bath whip. Um, and then I'll be sharing the full recipe on my Patreon page. So basically what this means is we're gonna be using this base to make a beautiful whipped soap that has exfoliating properties and also lotion-like qualities. So I cannot wait to share it with you. Let's go ahead and get started. So the ingredients that we're gonna be using today are um, a one pound of whipped soap base. We're gonna be using regular white granulated sugar. We're gonna be using stearic acid and emulsifying wax. We're also gonna be using some mango butter and we're gonna be using the beautiful fragrance Tangerine Gelato by Rustic Essentials. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is just dumping this whipped soap base right into the KitchenAid stand mixer bowl. And one of the things I really liked about this uh, whipped base from Nature's Garden is I feel like it's one of the best ones I've ever used. So already it's a lot firmer than some of the other ones I've bought, which I like because I don't like when my whipped soap deflates. So you can see it's pretty dense and firm. So we're just gonna dump that right into the stand mixer bowl. Making sure to get all of it out. Once that's in your stand mixer bowl, you want to go ahead and set that aside and then get your other ingredients weighed out. All right, so I've got my scale and my glass beaker and what I'm going to do is just go ahead and start weighing out my e-wax and my stearic acid. Then I'm gonna go ahead and microwave this until it's completely melted down. I'll bring you right back when that's melted down. All right, my stearic acid and my emulsifying wax are all the way melted down now. And to this, I'm gonna be adding some mango butter. The reason why I'm adding these ingredients into the uh, whipped soap base is because this will create a sort of lotion within the whipped soap base. And once it hits the water, you're gonna see when you're in the shower or at the sink, once this formula hits the water, it's gonna turn lotion-like on your skin. It's absolutely beautiful. So to this, I'm gonna be adding in, I'm weighing it off to the side before I just start putting that in. Okay, putting in the mango butter. Now I'm gonna be stirring this up until my mango butter melts, melts down all the way. Okay, we are now completely melted down. And so what we're gonna do is go ahead and just set this off to the side, and then I'm gonna bring you over to the stand mixer and show you the next steps. Okay, so the whipped soap is down here. Everything is ready to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lock that in place. And then I wanna go ahead and whip this soap base until it gets into kind of a lighter and fluffier consistency. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on like a medium to high. We 
went ahead and whipped that for about one to two minutes. And now I'm gonna scrape down the sides and you can see it's gotten a little bit looser and more fluffy in quality and consistency. I'm just scraping down my sides, making sure I'm getting that all mixed in. It has kind of a hard time, the stand mixer, reaching the very bottom of this when there's not a whole lot of stuff in there. And so one pound is kind of a small, a small uh, batch to be putting in there. So then the next thing I'm gonna do is just add in my color. I'm using orange La Balm colorant from Brambleberry. And we're just gonna turn it on slow and get that all mixed in. Okay, so this is a coral orange color, so it's probably not gonna get much darker than that. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add in my melted down stearic acid e-wax and mango butter while this is going. I'm gonna turn it on slow and then I'll turn it up to um, a high and we're just gonna let that whip for a while. Okay, that was whipping for about another one minute. You can see the volume is starting to increase. So we're gonna go ahead and scrape this down and it's getting nice and whipped and fluffy. We wanna make sure that we whip it for long enough that the temperature is brought back down to a room temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a temperature read on it um, because you don't want that hot, the hot oils and the e-wax to um, cause this not to inflate or set up properly. So let's go ahead and do a temperature read on that. Okay, we're sitting at 77, which is warm. Um, my house is right around 70, so we're gonna go ahead and um, give that more time to whip, but I'm also gonna be adding in my fragrance oil, and then I'm gonna put it on medium high for a few minutes. show you what it's starting to look like now. It's starting to get stickier in appearance and it's pulling away from the sides of the container a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and get, let that go for a few more minutes on medium high. Okay, so you can see the texture has changed significantly. It's a really a nice, wet, um, fluffy base at this point. And I'm gonna do a quick temperature read on this again to see where we are before we add that granulated um, sugar into the mix. And I'm just pushing it back through the, um, the wire beater here. Okay, yeah, it's a very nice, light, airy, whipped consistency.
Okay, we're sitting at about 75, which is still a little bit warmer than where I would like it to be. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add in the sugar and then we're gonna whip it a little bit more. Okay, um, this process, in this process, you're really gonna see the consistency start to change now that we're adding in the sugar. You're gonna see quite a bit of difference in the consistency. So I'm gonna start on low, I'm gonna add it in slowly. up a little more and get it all mixed in. See how that consistency is changing? And then I'm going to come back in here and just kind of scrape down my sides again. Make sure we're getting that sugar all the way incorporated. But you can see here the consistency is changing and it's very much um, inflating. The volume is getting bigger and that's partially because I added in sugar, but also it's getting bigger because we're just whipping air into the mix. So I'm just gonna go ahead and push that back through to make sure the sugar gets well combined into all of this. And then we're gonna whip it one last time. And the addition of that sugar should have brought the temperature down a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at it. Again, with the temperature reader. Okay, it did, it brought it down to about 73, so I'm hoping to bring it down, oh, 72. We're probably sitting right around 72 in the house, but I'm gonna just give that one good last mix. Okay, this is what we're looking like now, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take my stand mixer down and really kind of get that pushed through the blades here or the beater before I take it off. Um, it's pretty, it's kind of a messy project. A KitchenAid certainly does help. You can do this with um, just a handheld beater if you don't have a KitchenAid mixer. Um, I have done that before. Before I had my, my mixer, I used to do whipped soaps with a handheld mixer. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the um, beater. See that? <laughs> it's all over. So we're just gonna scrape it down. Get as much of that pushed back into the bowl as possible. There we go. Okay, and the next thing I'm gonna do is take this mixture back over to the other counter and we're gonna put it in a piping bag. And look at that. We're gonna get that in a piping bag and we're gonna pipe it into some eight ounce PET containers. All right, here we are and we're ready to go ahead and put it into the piping bag. I just wanted to show you the consistency. It's just increased in volume, um, more than double the size as we've been um, whipping this. And we're just gonna put it into a piping bag. This is a reusable piping bag with an open 
star tip. It's a, it's a really large one. Um, you can just scoop this in to the containers. You do not have to pipe it. You could just technically, you could just scoop this into your containers. And I might do that with one or two to show you what that looks like. Um, it's kind of fun to pipe it. The thing with the whipped soap, you're gonna notice is that it does deflate a little bit. So even as I'm piping it in there and you're gonna see peaks in the, in the piping, um, the next day or a couple days or even a week later, you are gonna see some deflation. So if it's frustrating, if that's a frustrating process for you, you could just scoop it in and kind of avoid the extra work of piping it. Okay, so there we go. There's the first part. I'm just gonna push my piping down. Right now it's a beautiful consistency for piping. Again, you are gonna get some of that, that deflation. Um, this is part of the reason why I was using um, stearic acid and uh, mango butter was, well, I wanted it to have some more conditioning properties, but I also wanted it to stand up a little bit more and not um, be super sensitive to deflation. Okay, so we're all piped in. As you can see, it has already deflated just a little bit. Um, you're not gonna get those big peaks, at least in my experience with this recipe, but it is a really nice whipped soap. So you can opt to just scoop it in um, if you like. That's about as much deflation as you're gonna get though. Um, let it set up for a few days and see before you um, sell it or gift it. That way you can see how much deflation you're gonna get and you can account for that. This is totally optional, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of gold holographic glitter on the top. And there you go. We're gonna go ahead and put the lids on and then I'm gonna show you how this works.
All right, we're at the sink, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this works. So we're just gonna turn the sink on, and then I'm gonna scrape some of the leftover off of my, my beater here, just to kind of show you how this works. So you're gonna get a small handful, and then wet your hand a little bit. And it's got a good amount of sugar in there, so you're getting that scrub. But see how when it hits the water, it turns lotion-like? I guess that's something you can feel rather than see so much, but it's turning into lotion as I'm rubbing it in. And it's got a really excellent foam. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Catch you on the next video.